Hi, I'm Doug Newell. I'm the wiring guy here at Chip Ganassi, have been for the last five years. In the first video, we talked about how we build a harness. Once they're built, how do we test them? How do we know they're still good? So today we're gonna to talk about how we test these wiring harnesses to make sure they will do what we need them to do. All right, so today we're talking about how we test these. This is the central nervous system of our race car. It connects the engine to the ECU. ECU tells the engine what to do, how to run. Everything goes through this system. So once this is built, how do we know it's still good? And we do that with the use of a Cirrus tester, which is housed in this housing case here. I'm gonna drop this off here. So we hook this up to the Cirrus tester. Every wire in this harness has a mate that goes to the Cirrus tester, and the Cirrus tester We'll check every wire for continuity from point to point. And then once it's done with that, it'll, it'll do a, it's called a high pot or high potential test where it sends a high voltage pulse through each wire. And once it's done, connected like it is here, we hit start. And very quickly, in four seconds, I know every wire in this harness is connected to where it's supposed to be. Then we do the high pot test. Boom. Now, right now, it's sending a high voltage pulse through each wire individually and looking for any breaks in the wiring or the insulation, any breakdowns. And when it's happy with it, we get a good. So we know the harness is still good. And with this device, we can also click right here and look at reports and I can look at each wire individually. So there is a readout of every single wire. It tells me the resistance of it all 174 of them so we know this is good and ready to go back into the car and ready for the next race i'm doug Knoll, and this has been stem talks with atos Sintel.